Hi, welcome to Smash Burger. How are we doing today? Hi, and welcome to With Heart. Today we are joining forces with the popular chain Smash Burger to bring you their Beehive Burger. And there is a real science behind why they actually smash a burger. So we're going to be talking to Ben Bailey, the general manager, and why smash instead of just, you know, make your patty like you have for years? Well, the idea is when you smash a burger, you get a sear on the bottom. You get a nice sear that holds in all those juices and all those flavors that normally drip out when you just kind of throw it on a barbecue. And there actually is a science, right? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, uh, Tom Ryan, our founder, is has a PhD in flavor and fragrance chemistry. Who knew that was actually a thing? That's a real That's thing. thing. Yeah. So okay. He's, uh, he's very specifically designed the way we do this, <laughs> and it, there's a reason and a method to the madness. So we're gonna put that right down. And you want to smash it for about 10 seconds. Oh, so you're like actually holding you're the pressure down. You're holding it, putting pressure down for about 10 seconds. Now you said one of the really important aspects is having a flat grill rather than, you know, a regular barbecue with, with sort of a griddle. Yeah, when you, when you have that, what you see is the juice is just kind of running down into your barbecue and the flames spitting and everything like that. What this does, when you press down like that, is it's gonna cook the bottom and give it a real tight sear. When we flip it, you'll see that. And that holds all those juices in there and you'll see them kind of bubbling up as opposed to running off the side. What can you use to press it down? The smashing would be the tricky part. That's what you gotta come to Smash Burger for, <laughs> you know? But uh, You gotta come here to get the true smash. Exactly, yeah. Um, you can definitely get a, uh, you know, a decent sized patty at home though, just using 100% meat, 100% Angus beef, and then, and see how it's already all brown oh, yeah. and solid on the top there. It's another problem you have at home too, is people often flip the burgers too many times, back and forth, back and forth. Ideally, if you're doing it right, one time flip and you're done. Okay, so this is our patty for our beehive burger. We flipped it now. And you said that the next step is something that will make it a little bit tastier, right? Yeah, you want to put the barbecue sauce on the actual burger. A lot of places While it's will, cooking. Yeah, a lot of places will put the barbecue sauce like on the bun or something. The barbecue sauce is supposed to touch meat. That's the whole point of barbecue huh. sauce. So you want to put it on and then you're going to put the cheese on. And that'll let the barbecue sauce kind of cook into the meat while it's sitting there. And it probably contains it a little bit more it does, too, rather yeah. than it just soaking into the bun. Exactly. If you go to some places, they put it right on top and it just gets all soggy. This is, barbecue sauce should be interacting with the meat. That's the way it should go. Hey, a minute or two on this side, right? Yep. We're going to get a little bacon heated up here. Put some bacon on here. And you've toasted the bun? We toast the bun with a little bit of butter. And that is Just it. Dress it up with the onions, and there you go. Get some smash fries going, and a shake, and you're good to go. It's perfect. Yeah. Okay, so thank you so much to Ben, and also to Smash Burger. And if you want the complete recipe, head over to withheart.com. But if you want the real deal and somebody else to make it for you, head over to Smash Burger. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.